Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. Still chilly up here in Minnesota. I just wanted to show you really quick, I'm home all by myself. This just doesn't really happen. I mean, like even the dogs are gone. They took the dogs to the hardware store and they love to do that. Um, they, the dogs love to go to the hardware store. <laughs> And that's somewhere you can take your dogs. They don't care. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you two quick things from Dollar Tree that you can get if you are on a plant-based diet lifestyle. First of all, and I know I've shown this before on uh, Dollar Tree hauls, but just this plain soy milk, and 32 ounces, a quart for a buck. And that's just fantastic. This is great for making, um, like putting in mashed potatoes or making ranch dressing if you need something just super plain. Um, any kind of creamy gravies or cream soups, anything like that. So that's just awesome, one buck. And then recently I have found this and this is bone char free sugar. And I've gotten this before, like at Walmart or other places, but this is two pounds of all natural pure cane sugar, bone char free, vegan, for a buck. And it's just really, really super So cool. yeah, I just wanted to show you those things and um, let you know that Dollar Tree, who knew I even have their color on today, no. <laughs> Um, coming up with some really good deals there, um, even for plant-based living. So anyways, I thought I would just take this time to go through my cupboards, pantry kind of areas and show you. So starting up here and I've tried to organize this a little bit recently. Um, coming back and forth, it's not always easy to remember what you've got or whatever, but I have some gluten-free rice pasta and some red rice pasta, and a bunch of kinds of quinoa up there, molasses. Um, this is kind of all my flours. This is my gluten-free flour mix that I make, and coconut flour, oat flour, and different ones back there. Um, got these at my grocery in this little town because they're accidentally vegan and they're a little bit pricey, but I was like, well, these are the things I want. So yeah, I'll support it. Um, some dried fruit in here, mango. Oh, these were from Aldi and I'm sorry, but they were really gross. I've been using them for puppy treats. <laughs> really bad. Um, flax seed, different dried fruits, prunes, and different things back there. <clears throat> Oh, agar, agar flakes, which I haven't figured out how to get them to work like they're supposed to yet, but maybe I'll try again. <clears throat> okay, next messy cupboard. Coconut sugar, almost out. Cocoa. And I found these um, chocolate chip dealios, mini chocolate chips at Sweet Farm here in Minnesota, and they're accidentally vegan. And so they're not a crazy price, they're just like a regular price. It's awesome. Um, coconut, fat, sorry, coconut, um, sugar that I got. Um, and these other sugars, maybe not totally vegan, but I don't know, hard to find sometimes. Coconut milk for desserts or curries. And this middle shelf is just a ton of spices and uh, I found that at the grocery the other day. Five simple ingredients and that's accidentally vegan. Nutritional yeast for making cheesy flavor sauces and whatever. Just some other baking things and a bunch of spices that I transported up in here. Um, this has a bunch of different kinds of rice peanut butter, agave, rice, and then my rice paper rolls for spring rolls, and the nori, it took me forever to find. Some cooking sprays I try not to use very much, but once in a while, a little spritz helps. Okay, and then 
down here. Well, there's some dried kiwi. They're the funniest things. They're kind of good. <laughs> Got those at Fleet Farm. Just cracks me up that they're still so green. Anyways, down here in this cool little slide out, I've got a couple rice ramen packets. Millet and brown rice ramen. Tomato paste, coconut milk, another noodly thing that we're just, just haven't. I bought these last time we were up here and just wanted to try some of these different things out. This is Dr. McDougall's. Um, they're pretty good. They have a good flavor. There just isn't very much in there. Um, cute little ketchup bottle. I don't remember where that came from. It was like, that's how they handed out the ketchup. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's adorable. More coconut milk, water chestnuts, chipotle peppers, um, black eyed peas, more chipotle sauce and tomato sauce. Here's tomato sauce, um, refried beans. This little slide out cupboard is in no order. and just throw stuff in here to have it handy in the kitchen. Black beans, more noodles, more noodles, sauerkraut. Chickpeas, garbanzos, same thing. Um, a little box of lentil soup. We got Sam's. This is not great. I wish it were better because it would be handy. I threw one in Steve's lunch the other day. I don't know if he liked it or not. A salsa, fire roasted salsa. Totally forgot about that. That sounds good. A bean salad. Got this at Aldi. And again, uh, Sorry, I don't know. We tried one can. It was not great, but chipotle sauce, more chickpeas, tomato sauce, and German potato salad, which is pretty good. That's from Aldi too. So down here, assortment of potatoes and onions. And then across the room in this closet, I put a shelf and we have the soy milk from Dollar Tree deal. Super plain for when you need just something super plain in mashed potatoes or ranch dressing or baking or any kind of uh, creamy soup sauce. Vegetable broth, awesome for cooking your rice in. Just adds so much flavor. Usually I do kind of half and half, half broth and half water with my rice, just adds a little bit. Um, little applesauce cups. Um, these are super easy for baking, like about a half a cup in there. And I don't like getting the big jugs of applesauce up here because I never know when I'm leaving. So these are kind of nice. Um, coconut oil from when I used to eat coconut oil more, <laughs> but I don't know, once in a while we put it in a little something. Garlic. Um, these baked beans from Aldi are really good and they're like accidentally vegan. And also the vegetarian bushes are really good. Then second shelf, more garbanzo beans, black beans. Um, there's some mild chili beans back here from Aldi, really good. They're really nice in chili, of course, and, or else just to put on potatoes as a topper, really yummy. Um, refried beans, fat free, whole corn, back there I have cream corn, and once again it's super yummy just on potatoes like a gravy. Uh, a can of mixed veggies from Dollar Tree I thought we'd try, haven't tried it yet. Mango slices from Dollar Tree, haven't tried it yet. Barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce for those oven fries made just on slice up your potatoes into wedges and throw them in the oven for about half hour on 375 or 400. No oil, guys. And just put them in, dip them in something you love. It's yummo. Um, here's a Brianna's. This is really yummy. I got that last time we were up here. I haven't opened that yet, but I've had another one. Um, hot chicken wing sauce. That I use for making cauliflower wings. Um, really yummy. We do that a lot during football season. Spicy brown mustard. Here's some more of that lentil soup. 
Um, found this at Aldi last week. My son found one and I went here and they have them here too. Vegan mayo at Aldi. I could not believe it. Oh. Um, sriracha at Aldi. Um, some frosting. Yummy. Accidentally vegan. Salt. Down at the bottom, I've got some pasta sauce from Aldi. Got some diced tomatoes and another tomato paste. And my apple juice for smoothies almost every morning of my life. Just put in a little splash. Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> I got that for my sweetheart. It makes him happy. And I do have some dried beans. I've got some black beans there, but don't do that a whole lot right now when I'm back and forth. So that is pretty much it for all our pantry items around here. Um, on top of the fridge, however, did you love that sign? <laughs> it's got a bunch of different signs. Oh, my dad had it and I came in from the garage. Dad, can I have this? He's like, yeah. People ask me about it, but I don't know. I just think it's awesome. Anyways, one more thing. We Hold do on. have some cereal. Rice squares, corn squares, honey. Huh. Yeah, I didn't realize that when I got them. But I'm like, well, I don't have a huge problem with honey. But yeah, I know. You got to be uh, nice to the bees when you can. Plant lots of flowers. Um, then up here, oatmeal. These are really yummy from Aldi. We use these with the chickpea cracker dip a lot. Um, there's baked barbecue chips. Lay's. Lay's potato chips are accidentally vegan. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's not a health food, you know, but yeah. Um, regular tortilla chips. Popcorn. There's brown sugar in here. Brown sugar. So yeah, other little chip things up there. Still a couple packets of uh, Swiss Miss that my daughter had before she decided to go plant-based. So yeah, and this is not really a pantry item, this is something I make, but Swiss Muesli. Um, it's an oatmeal mix that you just can add hot water. And it's awesome! We have our sauces over here. Apple cider, rice vinegar, liquid aminos, which is like soy sauce, um, balsamic and umami vinegars. Um, so yeah, getting ready for lunch here. Big bowl of lettuce. I think that's about it. Um, I just really want to encourage you to more and more go plant-based as you start replacing things and just as you can, just for your health and for the planet and for those you love and have fun.